Hi, I'm Selena for Who is Jesus Today. How's everyone doing out there? I have a question. Is there anyone out there who can say that they have uh, put any of the uh, scriptures in the Bible? That you are the author of any scripture, any passage that's in the Bible? I don't think any of you can, because I know if you did, it wouldn't be true. So, in fact, I know you can't, and I know that maybe you'll say, well, I didn't, but some other man wrote it. Well, it doesn't matter if there were men that were pinning the passages. They're not the author. They're not the author of the text. Now, you have a right to dispute this. Of course you do. This is a... Right, in a free-thinking society, you could dispute it. But I believe, along with millions before me and those who will come after me, believe that God is the author of the Bible. Yes. And another thing I want to say is that it really wouldn't be always beneficial, of course, to just quote Bible verses for those who believe in the Bible verses. Because after all, a Christianity, along with other religions out there too, is evangelistic. You know, it's, it is, it is um, a belief, a system of evangelizing. And that's just what a Christianity is. So since it's, it, it is, uh, our beliefs are based on evangelizing and telling the world that God does exist and for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. I know not everyone agrees with that or believes it. And there was a time when you have, if you had told me that, I would not believe either. And when you told me that God exists, uh, I was, uh, Maybe, but there's no proof. Uh, you have to prove that to me. Honestly, I, 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 be I believe that's, that's a possibility, but I don't see God. I've never seen him, so you're asking me to believe in someone I haven't seen. Right? But people also are uh, were, uh, telling me when I was around like a toddler to believe in a Santa Claus that I've never seen or some of those story tales those fairy tales and at the time I thought that well the story about God and Jesus and hell, heaven and hell was just also a part of the f fairy tales just like Santa so I, I really know that there are, are many who do not yet believe, and I'd say it's growing, that God is who he said he is, and that God is alive, and God, not only that, but Jesus Christ is soon to return. And so, it says in the word of God, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Uh, it takes a lot of, it takes, it takes a lot for a person to, to say there's no God, but it takes even more to try and prove that there's no God because it's it you can't prove it you can't prove it uh, any more than you can prove that you created yourself or that anyone that you know alive now or in the past has actually been the founder of nature and putting all into place and the seas and the continents just name me one person in history who you can say you can give credit for being the founder of creating the earth. So, again, this channel is open to all, open to the world. I'm glad that you stopped by, those of you who are atheists that um, are, I guess, maybe perhaps you've been drawn to this channel. Um, because I had addressed you with a message. Thank you for stopping by and visiting. I respect you. I respect your 
opinions. I, re I, I do respect the fact that you are saying, no, I don't believe in God. And you know what? There was a time when I believe I was close to that myself. But I became a believer because Jesus called me to follow him. And that's the experience that I am sharing on this channel. Okay? And you know something? I'll close with this, though. We all believe in something. We all have a, what we call a belief system. If you think that, you know, um, like a glass of water will listen to you if you talk to it. I don't believe that. Some people maybe do. I don't believe it. People have to prove that, right? But you see, that's still going to be your belief system. So if you believe that there is no God, then uh, that still is a belief system that you have. And often, to the atheists of the world, you you are uh, you seem to be on a mission where you talk about God at times as much as those who believe. I've experienced this. I, I have. I, I Sometimes I'm like, okay, like here's the atheist again trying to convince me there's no God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go again. You know, they're, they're talking about God again, except they're trying to disprove that God doesn't exist. That's a belief one that you are entitled to and it's a risky belief because I do believe you will come to find out that you were wrong uh, one day I came to find out that I was wrong thank you for visiting because I don't want to just talk to people who think like me all the time and believe the way I believe um, like I said my belief system is to go out with its outreach and so if it's outreach it, it's it, it's it's not possible to just uh center all of my focus on people who think and believe like me right so again i invite you to revisit and i encourage you to be open for god to reveal to you his existence he loves you you can like and subscribe. Until next time, Shalom.